Streaming on a Thursday. You might say this is Southwest fault. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we got stuck in Colorado for an extra day, and because of that, basically we got in at 3 a.m., slept till like 11, and getting a video ready for today was not really going to be a thing, so we're streaming today and streaming tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow we'll be over on Twitch. How's everybody's, uh, holiday going? Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys, everyone, for the congrats messages there. Quite, quite the Christmas to remember, I will say, for many more reasons than one. Doing your great one grind right now as well? Nice. What map are you doing it on? You live in Colorado. Where at? Flinty Poo? <laughs> hey, thank you, Tor. Uh, Brent, thank you for the super chat. Who died? Hey, hey, hey. I know, you're not used to being here. Uh... I feel like the membership alerts weren't working last time. Bottom boy, thank you for the 27 months. Big congrats on the what now? I'm trying to hold Shadow back from barking. On the ringed, ringed upness. Am I reading that how you mean that? I'm not sure. Either way, thank you. Uh, are you going to do any Pennsylvania flintlock hunting? That's the plan. Apparently, my brother and dad are going tomorrow, but I've got too much catching up to do to, to do that right now. Famous soccer player from South. America. Oh, okay. I did not hear about that. Right next to the mic, champion. Do you have any tips on switching over to PC for Call of the Wild? Um, do you mean tips on, like, the actual process of doing that, or tips as far as getting started again? Because best I can say is maybe buy, like, the Modern Rifles DLC and just, you know, go ham with the 308 level up quick. Garrison, Colorado. I don't know if I know where that is. How's your day going? Going pretty good. Uh, like I said, we got in at about 3 a.m. last night. Very long day. It started at like 11, I guess, Eastern. And then got back at 3 a.m. So what is that? Uh, 16 hours? Did I math that wrong? It's close to that anyway. It's a long day. Slept in. Uh, drove up to my parents. Got Shadow. She was being watched there for what was supposed to be a week. Ended up being like 9 or 10 nights. And... Now she's sitting in my lap. Loving life. Uh, did you ski or snowboard? We did not do that. We What all did we do? We went snowmobiling. Um, tubing, yeah. We did like a, a little hike thing. We did a fair bit of like outdoor stuff, but we did not ski or snowboard because it turns out that's expensive and uh, so is literally everything else that occurred on that trip. <laughs> Quite literally. Uh, thank you, Terry. Or T Gallops. I just realized that's who I'm talking to. Doing Whitetail Grind on Leighton and New England. I think New England would be a really cool map to get a Great One Whitetail. If things were to go incredibly well, like if we got the Great One Moose today and the Great One Black Bear in a week, I'd really strongly consider doing something like that. Snowmobiling's fun. It was very fun. That was the first time I've ever done it. Um, I'd love to know what the distance was. Maybe they say, maybe your parents would know how far we actually went. Oh, the Continental Divide, yeah. So, it was a two-hour round trip. Not all of it was actually going, but we were consistently over 20 miles an hour for close to two hours, so we must have went pretty far. Don't know what the total distance was, but it was a really cool trip. Skiing is a great way to get hurt. Dude, there's just no way that I wouldn't break my ankle. I can't. There's, there's something with that. I typically have good balance and stuff, but I'm just not good with snow-related things. You see what happens when I leave in a hurry. No hunting HUD. Okay, so... Two bulls? By the way, this is the first time I've played Call of the Wild in like 10 days, so if I'm terrible, we're gonna blame that. Alright, good enough start. Uh, But I'm old gen. Wait, is this in relation to the console question earlier? <laughs> Been gone such... Uh, it's been such a long time since I've watched your streams, but I'm glad you can make it in for this one. I think I read your name somehow in that, uh, in that statement. Snowboarding is worse when skiing. You can at least ditch your skis when you crash. Oh, I kind of see what you're getting at. I hear an aggressive moose. Attacking a must deer, perhaps. Uh, congrats. Thank you, Squatch. 
only bone I've ever broken from sledding. I, one time, when I was fairly young, got just the most brilliant idea to go... You may call it sled riding, but what I really was doing was laying down head first on a snowboard and then going down through the woods. Smoke my head on a tree. How I didn't get a concussion, I have no idea. Did that miss? Huh. How odd. Hey, Joe. Thank you, man. How was your Christmas? How did you guys do? Did, did Santa just come and visit? I've been crashing like crazy since the hotfix seems to happen when I open a menu, then after a few tries, stops. Hmm. Is that a console hotfix or PC? I feel out of the loop. Like I'm, I don't remember what, what happened when. Sled riding, it's sledding. You're sledding. Sounds fun, I would try that. What's that, going face first down through the woods? <laughs> it was great the first couple of trips. If I remember right, it was, um... It was a particularly snowy winter, and then we got, like, a half inch of ice, you know, freezing rain on top of that. So, it was very slick, very fast. Definitely shouldn't have been doing it, but, you know... Live and learn, I guess. Danny, thank you for the 29 months. Congrats on... I'm going to go with the engagement. Did Shadow approve? I don't know. Do you approve? She's yeah. I don't think she naps as much as yeah, my parents, so she's probably been like, man, I needed this nap so bad. <laughs> Shadow is asking where her ring is. I got her one. It's a collar, but that's a ring. Got little Colorado mountains on it. It's great. Uh, did you ski or snowboard in Colorado? I was in Deer Valley, which is pretty close, and also the place shut down because of the giant storm. We did not do that, but we went snowmobiling, tubing, uh, slightly less injury <laughs> risk things, I guess you might say. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, need help with my account? It got reset. I would contact support. They're probably the only ones that could help you with that. Uh, I think it's support.thehunter.com. Did we have any elk? As in, eat some? Yes. In a couple of different forms. Kyla had elk tenderloin, which was fantastic. If you've never tried that, gonna be expensive anywhere you go. Worth it. Uh, and then I had at... I don't remember the name of that place. That Mexican restaurant. I wish I would have because it was really good. They had some kind of... I think it was elk sirloin as well, but tacos. Really, really good. I can't remember what the situation what they were corn tortillas or whatever so they were gluten free it was a really really good deal can geese survive a 16 gauge shot um geese can survive like a single pellet hit at range from any shotgun so yes that was on a menu danny but nobody tried it i would also say tenderloin's the best cut of anything hello Dog, what are you doing? I didn't even know the moose was over there. Uh, da, da, da. What graphics card do you have in your PC? Currently a 3060. I do want to upgrade. Probably that's not going to happen for a while. But, you know, I'd like to get maybe a... Either a, a 3060 or 70 Ti or just, you know, an upgrade of some sort. Going muzzleloader hunting with my grandpa this evening. Is that flintlock muzzleloader? What's your favorite hunt in real life? As in, like, a hunt that I'd like to go on, or... How do you mean that? Have you tried ice fishing? No, but I want to. Boy, does that look mellow. Are you mellow? Why do you look that dark? I think that's mellow. Which would be stupid, because I don't shoot cows ever on this grind. Meaning she would be here. Oh, she's not. Never mind. When does rifle season end? Rifle season ended December 10th. I actually shot two deer on the last day of rifle, so that worked out well. So then flintlock season came in, my god, three days ago. We were supposed to get here the day after flintlock. And then... Okay. Uh, all the southwest cancellations and stuff. Definitely pushed that back a little bit, but... Yeah, Flintlock's in till yeah, January 16th, thereabouts. Do you have a 45 or a 10 mil in real life? Can't say I do. 
Have you tried white deer hunting? A time or two, I, I've dabbled, you know. How's your day been? Been good. Uh, mostly because we're back home, got to pick up Shadow. She's, uh, she had quite the spoiled Christmas as far as I could tell, but, you know, it's the way it goes. Congrats on the ring. When's there going to be little flitters running around? I don't know yet. Probably have to do the second half of what the ring implies first. Did you go to Colorado to go hunting? No, we were actually just spending the week there as kind of a Christmas vacation kind of vibe. Did all kinds of activities, none of which involved hunting. Say what? Oh, I did not. Can you send me that picture? I'll probably get it set up to throw on screen. So it was the morning after we went snowmobiling, I believe. We were literally leaving Breckenridge, Colorado. Uh, we were going to go back to Denver, spend the night in a hotel, right, you know, close to the airport, and uh, be able to leave early in the morning, as if that would happen. Thanks, Southwest. Uh, but <laughs> that had been the plan, so we were on our way out, and... I wouldn't even say we were outside, like, the outer limits of Breckenridge yet. And a pretty big bull moose just crossed the road right in front of us. First moose I've ever seen. It was really cool to see that. You you hear all the time that you can't appreciate how big a moose is until you see it. I mean, they're, they're like, bigger than the cars that are going by. It's, it's crazy to actually see it. Like, you know that. Like, uh, if you were to ask me how big's a moose, well, it's bigger than a car. But then when you actually see it, it's kind of... It's just shocking. There's no other way to say it. Everyone knows I'm a stoner. Yeah, totally. Me and me, me, me in the weeds. <laughs> what is your dream hunt? Uh, I'd love to hunt caribou in Alaska. And actually, there's like a real is that what it was? A real estate place in Breckenridge that has a bunch of taxidermy inside, and there was a caribou in there, and it made me realize that I want to do that even more. The moose in Colorado are Shirus moose. I don't think it was that shy across the road. Right in front of us. Uh, do you have a pistol in real life that you could use for alternative deer season? We don't have, like, an alternative deer season that you would use... That's a big moose. That you would use a handgun for. Like, the only season that you could use a pistol for would be the regular firearm season. Uh, I... My dad has a flintlock pistol. I'm pretty sure even that is not allowed during primitive arms season, but I could be wrong. Maybe you could use it then. But as far as, like, regular handguns, uh, there isn't, like, an alternative season. Shire's moose are the smallest subspecies of moose in North America. Uh, are they the smallest subspecies overall? If not, what would be? Uh, massive congrats on your engagement. Thank you. Had a fantastic day yesterday. You got three diamonds. Nice. A flintlock pistol, does he own a musket for home defense? Uh, my dad's got plenty of home defense weapons. <laughs> pick your pick your poison there. Favorite gun in real life? It's, I mean, it's a specific one. It's it's my 7mm Mod 8 because I've now shot five deer with it, which is nuts because it had been one. I had it for two years and I shot one deer with it. And then this year I shot four more. Every single shot has been a hard shot. Call it luck. Call it accuracy, call it whatever. I haven't tracked the dude that I've shot with that thing yet. Add Kyla's doe to that too. There's a point where it gets beyond like, you know, a fluke. Six deer and we haven't tracked one. And I know typically with the rifle, you don't end up tracking deer, but it happens eventually. And it hasn't happened yet. On a black bear grind been tough? It, yeah, that one is tough. I'm not looking forward to that one necessarily, but I just... It's going to bug me if I don't have it, so I'm going to keep going back and trying to get it. Thank you, Zach. Shot a 12 point yesterday. There you go. Can we see your tent placement? Uh, yeah. It's really not great. I couldn't even tell that, that was a bull for a second. Really, I've just been kind of living with it how it is. You can see where I've got tents placed. It's mostly these small lakes that are a little bit more difficult to get to. For the most part, I'm doing a lot of fast traveling to lodges and moving around or things like this. The, the river is just a long stretch of really areas that moose can drink along at any point. And it just doesn't make sense to have tents in spots like that. I just run the entire thing. That is sad that he got stuck. 
Oh, we got a next shot. Cool. Or brain or whatever. Uh, is brown hybrid rare in Canada the Goose? Not really. Um, it's kind of more so uncommon. It's really not even that. It's almost common. Should come to Wisconsin and hunt for whitetail? I know they got some big ones out there. Really, they got big whitetail everywhere. Do you watch anime? No. I really don't watch anything. That's the, like, I don't, as far as entertainment goes, is like YouTube sports talk shows, typically uh, pro football talk, that's my go-to, and podcasts. I'll listen to one of my favorite, like, funny ones. If you guys have never watched The Honeydew, it's with Ryan Sickler. Definitely, uh, you know, 18 plus, whatever, but he's hilarious. And Joe Rogan stuff. Is that about it? I thought I had one other one. Nah, I think that's probably it. Have you ever been turkey hunting? Uh, rarely successfully, but yeah. Um, I killed two in back-to-back -back years, like 10 years ago. Nah, not that long. Hmm, eight years ago. And I haven't killed one since. I've been, almost every year, I call in like a decent gobbler, and either it hangs up just a little too far away, or in this past year's case, there was a, a live hen there, which good luck competing with that. So that stopped me, and then like two days later, I called in two more. They came in behind me. I misheard which shoulder they were over, so I moved the camera, and it, and then I realized they were over the other shoulder, moved the camera back, and they happened to pop up over the hill and see me do that. There's just always something that happens when I turkey hunt. Uh, opinion on the Steelers and Ravens game this Sunday is in Baltimore, right? It's looking like Lamar Jackson's not going to play. I kind of would prefer he does. The Steelers just play better against him than Tyler Huntley, so I don't know. I think Tomlin's going to have him ready to go. I think if Kenny Pickett, you know, doesn't get a concussion on the second play, they'll have a decent shot, but I wouldn't be shocked if the Ravens win. They're in a weird spot. I, I don't know that the Ravens can really improve their seeding much unless they just win the division, which they've got Cincinnati the week after, so I don't know. They might be looking ahead. Literally, same here, Bonham Boy, but the problem is it's in bow season, the part where archery and fall turkey doesn't overlap. When it's actually legal for me to shoot a turkey with a bow. They're, you know, hundreds of yards away. Hey, you How's it going, man? Melon is really hard to spot on moose. I thought I had a cow earlier that was melon. It was not. I'd like another melon bull. I shot one on Leighton. Boy, that's probably coming up on three years ago nearly now. It was a good size one. I was really happy with it, but they're just cool. If we start Josh Dobbs, I'll be glad because I'm a Vols fan. Wait, who, where did he go? I saw that. I saw, man, somebody with an injured quarterback. What team was that? I can't remember. Super Bowl predictions. I refuse to change my prediction that I made before, like literally less than a week after the last Super Bowl, I predicted Bills Niners and Bills to win, so I'm going to stick with it. It feels more and more possible lately, but gotta say, there is plenty of competition in the AFC and the Eagles definitely are not just going to roll over for anybody. Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat. Just happy that finally Hackett got axed. I read that as taxed. Um, you know, I feel like it's not all his fault, but there was just plenty of stuff that he wasn't really doing that great. I think we got that good. Liberty Bowl was... Yesterday was crazy. So was that the one... I don't know teams or names or anything. I really don't follow college that much. But was that the one where they had like a wide receiver or a backup quarterback or something? Like on a goofy reverse throw... He overthrew the guy in the back of the end zone where he probably could have ran for it. And then that ended the game. I do live in Pennsylvania, if someone's asking that. What'd you shoot before the 7mm Mod 8? I had my dad's old 3030. It was a Marlin 336. Uh, really good gun. I killed a lot of deer with it, but I started to have some issues with it. And I don't, it's not the gun. It, it was the ammo, clearly. I shot a doe in, this was the year before I started filming, so 2018. I shot it straight through the heart, and it just. I'm, I'm sure it jumped or something, but I didn't see that happen. And then it just stood there and started walking away. I was like, okay, guess I'm bad. Thought I missed. So then it stopped again, but it's at a poor angle. So I shot again. I actually 
made a long shot again, but because of the poor angle, I also got it through some of the guts. And even still, it just kind of like jumped and moved a little bit. I was like, man, I must be really bad. Then it fell over. Okay, cool. Go up there, see that I shot it through the heart. Rather annoying to make a heart shot on a deer and then still have to deal with the mess of making a gut shot. So that was frustrating. Uh, and then in 2019, I shot that nine point on film. Two shots, double lung both times. And you don't get to see it in the video, but I mean, he stood there for five minutes, eight minutes. I, why that didn't kill him, I have no idea. Adrenaline or whatever. But I was just like, okay, I need something with more knockdown power because I hate that. I really... The older I get, the more important it is to me that the deer have as little suffering as possible. And like, I think there's just a little bit more of the reality of the situation sinks in. So that was why I switched to the gun to begin with. And I'm really happy that I did. I don't think, I mean, every deer that I've shot with, it's been dead in 15 seconds. Vikings bills. I just can't see the Vikings making it. I really can't. I love watching them. <laughs> They're an entertaining team to watch. Justin Jefferson is legit. But I just, I, it doesn't feel sustainable. Uh, dream gun to own in the future? I don't really have one necessarily. I don't know if there's anything in particular that I'd want. I'm not like a gun enthusiast necessarily. If I got a gun that's very capable of taking out the deer that I'm trying to hunt every year, that's all I want. Fabio Flintstones, huh? <laughs> What's going on, Papa? That 61-yard field goal? That was pretty cool. We watched... Who did they play? We watched that game. I can't remember. We watched a good bit of the games over the weekend, and I don't even know who they played against. Have you thought about doing an up-to-date beginner series? Uh, we're... The one that I've done most recently was like end of 2021, beginning of 2022. It's still pretty updated. Started first time on Medved running through a wolf pack. That's, you know, not always the best start. Do you like the Packers? I like Aaron Rodgers. Packers, you know, like I'm a Steeler fan. So there is the they beat the Steelers in the Super Bowl thing, which is always kind of sad. But, I, you know, I don't hate them because of that or anything. One of the reasons, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is one of the most talented quarterbacks ever, so there's that. But I enjoy his interviews and stuff. He's just, he speaks his mind a little bit more than most athletes. It's kind of refreshing to hear that, regardless of what you think about his opinions and stuff, because he's definitely open about that too. But um, because I tend to root for Rodgers, I guess I would say yes. Not having a good year this year. He's doing better as of late, but yeah, it's kind of, it's a little bit of what you're seeing with Brady in Tampa or like Roethlisberger last year. It just kind of sucks to see these guys that have dominated basically their entire career. And they're just, it's not that they're bad, but they're playing against all these guys that are, you know, still in their early 20s and, and fresh. And you just see that little bit of a step or a little bit of zip on the ball they don't have anymore. And it's just, it's just enough that they're no longer so elite. Uh, do you play Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2? I played it when I was young. Did you get anything during archer season? Not in PA. Um, I don't think I released an arrow. Well, I did at a groundhog. I missed it. <laughs> Other than that, no. I did kill my buck in West Virginia with a bow, so I got that on film. I'm really excited. That, that was the best hunt of the entire year. Uh, not only that, there's... Because I killed my buck on the second day, I got to hunt with Bottom Boy. I don't know if he's still in here. That was a really cool hunt. Some fantastic footage. Um, I know Kyla hunted some. You saw deer one day, right? Didn't you see some deer in West Virginia? Yeah, I thought you should have done it. I didn't see any buck. I just saw one. Did you used to do any sports? In high school, I played baseball. In grade school, I played basketball, football, and baseball. Lurk and play in Red Dead? What, where are you at? If you know, like, chapter-wise or anything. Hey, Rebecca, how's it going? Finally managed to catch a stream. Glad you can make it in. But I've been good, how about you? 
Are there open fields for pheasants on the New England mountains? There are some, but they are mostly... I find pheasants that are, are more so like in the trees. Look at this guy. Fucking Bronco out here. How do I go to... Huh. Kind of neat. I wish it was bigger. Make for neat thumbnail things. Can you shoot a three-pointer? I couldn't then. I, I mean... I'm sure if you give me enough attempts, I can, but I'm not going to make the first one. <laughs> I have I probably haven't touched a basketball in, like, five years. What position did you play in baseball? I got moved around a lot, so I I started in the outfield because I've always been a fairly decent runner. Uh, and then... I don't even know why. Maybe somebody was sick, and I got moved to third base for that game, and I did well at that, so I got kept there, and then I was a shortstop for a couple games, first base... I never really had, like, a spot that they stuck me in all season. Uh, manual, thank you for the super chat. What's the biggest deer you shot in real life? The one I got last year. Uh, it was a 180-inch 14-point, which... If I ever get anything close to that again, I'll be shocked. But then again, you know, we got one that's working his way up this year. Three-year-old that I think has a good shot at reaching about 150 next year. It's in a video on this channel if you want to check it out. Do you live in Northeast PA? Uh, like, West Central. I don't know if I've ever been to Northeast PA. Have you ever watched the WWE? Only clips when Pat McAfee's in it. Have you ever shot a deer with a 270 or 30 odd six? No, I think my dad has a 270. He doesn't have a 30 odd six. So when I, I don't know if you heard me tell this story like five, 10 minutes ago, but when I initially switched to a 70 mod eight, uh, one of the weapons I was considering or calibers, I should say, was a 30 out 6 because, you know, they're a fantastic big game caliber. My dad has never owned a 30 out 6 because, and this is his words, it's what everybody else uses. I always thought that was kind of funny because that probably means it works. But he does a lot of reloading on his own. I don't know if he has the reloading dies for odd eights. He might. But either way, he didn't add he didn't have 30 out 6 reloading dies, so. He shoots a 7mm Magnum. My brother has my dad's um, 7mm Express, also known as the 280 Mountain Rifle, which don't know why, but it is. And because of that, you know, I've seen the knockdown power those two guns have. I wanted to go with a A7mm of some kind. Any tips for me? Just got Call of the Wild on PC. As far, so have you played Call of the Wild on console before? Are you looking for PC specific tips? If you had to pick between Classic and Call of the Wild, what would you pick? See, it always depends with this question. If you made me choose... Like, let, let's put it this way. If you made me choose the games in their current state right now, I'd probably always pick Classic. But if you made me choose... Based on, like... The continued development that they're going to have over the next couple years, I'd pick Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild is going to get more new content... You know, new maps, new species, new weapons, all that stuff. Classic may get a new species here and there, and a new weapon here and there, but Call of the Wild will have that kind of stuff to keep your attention. That said, without the new stuff, even though Call of the Wild has like, I don't know, 70-something species now, and I think as many maps as Classic. Classic just has that kind of magic to it. It's I think it's the randomness, the random spawn mechanics, and all that kind of stuff that has that realistic feel that keeps you coming back, but the new content thing really helps for sure. Westmoreland County, I've heard of it. That's about as much as I can say, though. I, I don't know much more than having heard the name. What is the best map for the Moose Grind? So a lot of people are doing Medved. Um, I think Revan 2 is a really good choice. I think Layton could be, but it's always tough. When you're picking a map to grind for a great one, it's typically good if you don't have too much, like, ground to cover on foot. So if you can fast travel around to like a bunch of small lakes, that's typically good and Medved has a lot of that. Best map for the Blackbird Grand, I think it's still going to be SRP, which I was really hoping it would be New England. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit over SRP, but I don't know where else to do it. When is the next update for everyone in Call of the Wild? Most likely we'll see something in March thereabouts, uh, whether that's going to be a weapon pack or 
it could be a new species, something like that. Usually is what they do in the spring. And then late June, probably we'll see a map. September, we'll see another weapon pack or something like that. And December, we'll see another map. That is the... Ooh, that was a little slow there. That is the content schedule that we've seen in Call of the Wild for almost five years running. How rare are level 9 melanistic red fox? I'd say that's about as rare as it gets. I didn't know you guys had it in uh, in Tennessee, Jay. Um, it's not really prevalent here. The game commission has taken steps to try to... I guess get ahead of it in a way. So, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. I think this is the third season. They started increasing the amount of dough tags you could get. So, basically, my entire life growing up, you could get one dough tag plus one bonus tag. And I believe you could actually get... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was two bonus tags. Either way, you had like a limit of, I think, two or three doughs. And then I think you could get one more dough tag for another unit. But I'm going to say that typically it was a max of three doughs. Now you can get unlimited dough tags to a certain quota. But you can, you can never have more than six at one time. So, you know, they're, they're just trying to keep the deer numbers from getting too out of hand to where there'd be so many they just kind of wipe themselves out with the disease. But there was one deer last year. I think it was after the season. My dad was going into the barn to do something and in broad daylight there was one that was like running in circles. But he also said he thought he saw something like on his head. So it may have you know, been hit by a car or shot by some goob, I don't know. And I think he went back to get a gun to put it down and it was gone. Bad in West Tennessee, but not as bad in the East. I was I was basically in Kentucky when I hunted down there. It was, if we'd have gone like a couple more miles up the road, we'd have been in Kentucky. So I don't know if Northern Tennessee, I'm sure we were in Eastern, Northeastern Tennessee. We had a 190 inch, but it got poached. See, that's the thing that's always... There's so many things when it comes to, like, big bucks on property that you have and trying to maintain them. It sucks that, you know, that's a, a thing you gotta worry about, too. Do you think Canada Geese grind is the best money-making method? Not anymore. Um, only because with the waterfowl rework, you can't get as many geese as you used to be able to. I would say red deer or fallow deer on Teo Row is the best. Did I miss anything? Nothing special. We've shot a couple of big fours, but no diamonds, no rares. Do you have any tips for diamond whitetail? I mean, I would just say, like, if you're looking for a diamond whitetail, I'd probably go to, like, Revan Tui and just start shooting every buck you see. Do that, rinse and repeat, you'll find a diamond before you know it. In New York, if I remember correctly, you can't shoot deer that you think has CWD. You have to call the warden so they can assess the deer? Hmm. You're saying like you can't you know, if it's on the side of the road, you can't just put it down, right? Not on the side of the road, wounded. But like if you're hunting, I'm sure you can shoot it. I think I know what you're saying. Favorite genre of music? Uh, bagpipes. Um... <laughs> I, I guess country, I don't really, I don't, like, okay, so if I'm gonna, I don't know, do some work outside, or if I'm gonna play Call of the Wild for hours and I'm not recording or something, I don't really go to music as my thing to listen to, it's always podcasts and stuff like that. I have a easier time, or here's a good one, if I'm, like, driving to Pittsburgh, say, to pick up Kyla from the airport some days, um, I always go to podcasts, I don't really choose music, but I guess, like, if I were to you, I'd go with country. Lots of nice fours today. Is that a sign? Is the great one near? You like bagpipes? I actually kind of do like bagpipes, I'm not gonna lie. What is your favorite podcast? I mean, the Joe Rogan experience, you can't miss with that, right? Um, I was just, they had a thing on the Mitch Rumpola buck. Well, they, they didn't have a thing with it. Um, Steve Rinella was on there, and he talked about it. He's from Michigan. This, the Mitch Rampola buck was a Michigan deer. So, he said he wants to do documentary on it, and I really hope he does. That buck has fascinated me 
for years. I just want to know if it's real, and I feel like Mediator could actually find the truth with that. So I'm hoping he does it. But another really good one, if you like comedy and just goofy stuff, is the Honeydew with Ryan Sickler. He's hilarious. He's got one of the best laughs. It's just fantastic. That was a good episode, so the only thing I've watched is the Ron Polo Buck uh, clip. And it was, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was on some other channel. I was on the plane, ready to go, and it came across my thing. I was like, ooh, seven minutes, let me download this before I get to put it on airplane mode. So they cut it before they were done talking about it even, which was kind of unfortunate. My favorite genre is 100% classic country. Yeah, maybe I should have expounded on my answer there too. Not a big fan of modern countries. Not that I dislike it, but I like a lot of, like, 2000-ish. Like, some of the Toby Keith stuff and Kenny Chesney. That's about where my... Anything newer than that, typically, I don't like as much. Uh, I have a 301.68 moose. Do you know of any bigger? What was yours? 301.5? Your moose? I can't remember the 301 The important part was 301. I can't say for certain I do. Hey, thank you, Scarecrow. Do you like Morgan Wallen? Actually, yeah. He's probably the best. Well, him and Luke Combs are the best modern country artists. I don't feel like they sing modern country, though. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I love that song, Jack. That and, uh... Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. Good songs. I was thinking of the... What did they call that? Angry American or something. There was another... It was meant to be like a... Insult, I guess. And they just kind of added that to the song title. How nervous were you when asking? So, okay. I'm going to sound cheesy, right? I wasn't. Because... It was meant to be. So. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> You were asking for where the ring was for a long time, but I'd hope you wouldn't say no. True. <laughs> Opinion on presidents over the years. Uh, they were Interesting. elected. Gonna skip Tyler Childers and Zach. Br I don't even know who these people are. <laughs> you scared me for a minute, not saying Luke Combs. I he has a lot of good songs. He and Morgan Wallen both actually are like top tier current guys. Gonna be even more nervous when a great one shows up? Probably. I mean, it's not that I. W okay, so I wasn't nervous about actually asking or anything like that, but there were other things. So, the way that it went, uh, I got her parents' blessing and everything, and then. Kyla had always said, like, you should film it. I was like, okay, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. And basically, we devised a little plan to have her mom pretend she's just taking pictures of us. You know, it's stand by a Christmas tree. Let's take pictures. And then I actually just press record. But I still had to have it work out right so that Kyla would, like, turn away to leave. And then I could, you know, grab the ring and all that good stuff. So, I was nervous about that setup and everything. The best part was, too, I had a sign, right? Because we weren't sure how many pictures we were going to take or whatever. But the sign was going to be when I suggested that we take a picture, then her mom presses record, and then, you know, we do our thing. Uh, so, I go, we should take a picture over here, and Kyla goes, no. <laughs> it was so crowded. It made me so anxious. I was like, no, no. <laughs> I was like, hey, we're taking a picture over here. And I was literally walking around. It was great. Whoops. I mean, you walking away was the plan, so it worked. What's up, Justin? Who, Hank? I've never heard of that name in my life. Uh, which one of those came first? I think it was Gay Porn. Think of the super chat. What is the skill slash perk to make you so silent? Uh, it's called Soft Feet. It is a skill here in Stalker. This one right here. Middle of Tier 2. We also have, coming through there, Jacob Long. Thank you for the Super Chat. Congrats, fella. Thank you, fella. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
And I like to eat clouds. Me too. Thank you for the super chat, best hunter streamer. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you, dude. Appreciate the support as well. I gotta read that what Bottom Boy said. Asking in front of a small group ain't bad, but when it comes time to say vows in front of everyone, you know, yeah, true, true, true. That might be more nerve wracking. But that was great too. Um, so the first time we went by like the trees with the lights where I did uh, propose and everything, and there were a bunch of people there. And I was like, okay. So there was this Velociraptor statue in Breckenridge that last time Kyla was there like five years ago, four years ago? It was almost five because it's February. Yeah. Um, she took a picture with it. So we were going to go back and get a picture with it again. So we went there, went back. And most of the people that were at the trees with the lights and stuff had cleared out. So, you know, we do our thing, propose. Yes, cool. And then there's like everybody cheers. I was like, oh, there's people watching. <laughs> I didn't know anybody saw it happen. Is the Hunter Classic on console? No, unfortunately. I wish console players could experience it. It's such a good game, but it is not on console. It's old. I mean, it, it, God, it's going to be 15 years, I think. Or 14? 14 years. This spring. Uh, Danny, thank you for the super Did you say, will you be my great one dino nerd? I did not. I had a potential speech. Not speech, but like little spiel. But it was going to depend, so I didn't know how Kyla was going to react. If there was like a stoppage, I guess, like if you were to be like, you know, mini freak out, I would have done it. But you just kind of turned around and I was like, okay. No, it's not going to be a big wedding, Scarecrow. I imagine, what did you say, less than 30 people? I'm getting 30 people now, but I'll be in Colorado because my mom's already sending me 10 movies out there. Is she? Yeah, she's the one paying for it. I'm glad she's... <laughs> I'd rather a small, intimate wedding with the people that I see all the time, you know, so it's not awkward and feeling like I'm introducing myself all over again at my own wedding, and then spending that money instead of, like, a bunch of people for food, spending that money on scenery. You know what I mean? Like, I'm that type of person. Big weddings are too expensive, yes. I mean, so we stayed, I'll have to post pictures somewhere. We didn't stay there, actually. We ate at, is it called The Lodge? Yeah, it's literally called The Lodge. The Lodge at Breckenridge or something. Fancy place, Christmas dinner, cool cool deal. And so her parents already knew I was going to propose this night. Kyla didn't at the time. But we walk out on the deck thing, and Kyla goes, this would be a good place to get married. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Hope she doesn't know anything's happening. <laughs> Do the mods get free invites? Uh... No, it's going to cost $12,000 per mod, actually. That's how we're raising money. <laughs> uh, thoughts on the Detroit Lions? I quite enjoy watching them play. I think they might be a year away still. I can't decide if Jared Goff is good or not. Like, sometimes he seems to be. It was the same thing with the... When he was with the Rams. I remember... Would this have been the first year that Cousins went to the Vikings, maybe? Cousins and Goff both were just like dropping dimes. They were playing really well. I was like, man, this might be the future of the NFL. And then Jared Goff became Jared Goof, and, and here we are. Jack, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Are you going on a hunting trip for the honeymoon? I mean, I wouldn't rule it out, but I don't assume so. I think it would be cool, minus, like, if we could do that, that'd be cool. But I think we would have to go to I mentioned that to my dad today. I was like, hey, <laughs> well, okay. So I said, I know you're not getting on a plane. So what if we did like an RV? He goes, I can't be in an RV that long either. But I assume he doesn't, he's not thinking of the way I am of like, you know, four hours stop, yeah. whatever. Week long trip to only, what is it, a 30 hour drive or something? But over a week, you can cut that down pretty easy. Uh, Caden, thank you for the super chat. What's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good Christmas. Who would you say is this year's 2017 2018 Jared Goff? Was that the year they made the Super Bowl? I think it was. So you mean like 
God, this playing really well and then it's gonna kind of fall off, right? Young guy. I think for a different reason, Justin Fields. He is so much fun to watch, and I think Bears fans have good reason to be excited for the future, but there's just, there's no blueprint of it working ever, from Cordell Stewart to even Fran Tarkenton, although I think they went to some Super Bowls back in those days. Running quarterbacks just don't... When you get to the like the best defenses and stuff in the playoffs, it just usually doesn't work. Camo dress, come on now. Real tree. No. <laughs> He's a good running back? So, I was thinking about this recently because it might have been this morning. I was listening to something with Pro Football Talk and Chris Sims was like talking about the quarterbacks that are good because they're in a good system and you know, you got your Kirk Cousins and I mean, throw Jared Goff in there since we're talking about him. I would put... I'm trying to think like a generally highly regarded quarterback that's mostly because of a system, but I don't know, any of those type of guys. And then he listed off quarterbacks that would be good in any system, and he said Mahomes, Josh Allen, uh, Burrow, and Lamar Jackson. I was like, man, Lamar, Lamar is not that guy. You have to have a system that is like revolving around running the ball and quarterback runs and stuff. And like, he's really good. Don't get me wrong. But if you ask him to throw it 30 times a game, you're going to lose by 20. <laughs> hey, thank you, David. Might have been good. Looks like it was. What's the best perk or skill for reducing wobble during aiming? Uh, I think it's a perk. Not that. Where's it at? Maybe it is a skill. I thought it was... Oh, there you go. Uh, breath control. So it decreases the heart rate penalty, which I think is a big thing. And then you've got steady hands down here too. Are black, white, spring buck rare if I'm three females in a single herd? They're almost common. What are they actually called? Black, brown? Uh, Gabe Horn, thank you for the super chat. I think they should rework skill, skill perks and levels. Yeah, 100%. A lot, like, for a bunch of reasons. It would be cool if they just had, like, a level system that had no cap. So, you could either have, you know, once you're level 60, every 20,000 experience you get a level or whatever. I don't know what the number would be. Or you just increase it by, like, 1% or something like that every level. There would be ways to definitely do that. As far as skills and perks go, I don't see that any skill or perk in this game makes like gives you such a big advantage that it would potentially be game ruining or throw off game balance if you were allowed to just forever get uh oh heh. I did miss the name. <laughs> well done. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you could get all the skills and perks, like, I don't think it would ruin the game balance or whatever. Took me off guard. I completely missed I think I read his name earlier. Yeah, yeah. Thought so. And I heard it, and I was like, okay. Oh, gee, thanks for telling me. <laughs> <laughs> but I looked down, and I was like, okay, clearly it's that name, but, like, after I heard it the second time, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got that on the first donut? I thought there was another one. This is, I'm out of practice, man. Donate again. I'll call him Horn from now on. <laughs> what is the best gun for no DLC? 7 mil. I wasn't looking. I thought it was something else. I mean, it could have been. Gotta watch out. Can you give some white tail grind tips? I mean, typically, any grind. Pick a map. I would probably go Reventulio or Rancho with white tail. And then... The... The kind of current meta with it is, yeah. <laughs> hey Alexa, can you do, can you do me a Google here? Anyway, the current meta is to find like 15 to 20 really good zones and focus on grinding those, and kind of maybe just check your other ones occasionally. 
because you're not going to get all the same respawns in the same zones. So you could have a diamond or a rare or a great one respawn from something you shot in one of your main zones in a zone that you never touch. So you want to check those two, but you can kind of focus in on a certain area and just basically shoot all your bucks. Thank you, Pioneer. You're hunting in real life right now? What you hunting? Ooh, hello. Nope. Same size as the one that did that last time. When do you show off your trophy lodge? Um, I think we're going to do a lodge tour... Maybe the 30th or 31st? Oh god, that's like tomorrow. Okay, so 31st it is, because... <laughs> Tomorrow's the stream. Yeah, it'll be fine. That'll be the 31st. January 1st will be the best of 2022 montage, which I gotta put the December one together. I might release the December one still. Did I do that last year? I think I did. I think I had two videos that day. First stream I made it to. Welcome, NCJ. Do you stream on YouTube or Twitch mostly? I do more streams on Twitch. Um... I guess starting next week, the Wednesday streams are going to come back. So the Wednesday 7.30 p.m. classic streams. And after football season, so sometime probably in February, I'll probably bring back some Sunday streams too. I miss the Sunday streams. I'll maybe try to come up with a better time for them. Because the whole, the reason they were early in the morning was because I was doing them during football season. And I wanted to be able to, like, it's just like a family tradition at this point that we go and watch the game at my parents' house and a uh, 30 minute drive, take some time to get ready or whatever. Stream had to be like 10 a.m. So maybe we can come up with a better time, but that do be the current plan. The thing is I still usually go to my parents on Sundays, football season or not. So I still have to factor that in. Farming sim streams. I want to play farming sim so bad. That or uh, Planet Zoo, but I don't know. I don't think I'd be entertaining in Planet Zoo. Because I get... My problem with that game, as much as it's really fun to play, is I can never make the exhibits as good as I want. And I I think especially when, like, there would be uh, input from the chat and stuff, I would never leave one exhibit and it would just get boring. You hear thunder? Does it roll? Any bow hunting tips? Real life or in game? Eh, 1300 would be fine. Farming sim's so fun, I have max money on console. There's max money in farming sim. I didn't know that. I'm being made fun of in Discord. I wish Planet Zoo was on console. Is it not? I thought it was. I, I really enjoyed the time that I played that game. I put in like 50 hours in... Four days, five days. It was so much fun. But I, like I said, I can just... I, I have the vision in my head of what I want to do. But I can't... <laughs> I can't make it happen. I have the creative mind, but not the creative abilities. What did that say from Rage and Asian? Could bring back the Second Extinction streams? Mm. Wait. If they ever release it. You should. Well, what right now. No. It's Start. Kind of Start a string. <laughs> no, I feel sick. I'm not even Have you done big game hunting in real life? I've been hunting whitetail since I was 10. Um, I lost track of how many. I think I've shot 32 or something. I keep track for one very specific reason. Actually, it's multiple, but in the PA game news, which is a monthly. Um, outdoor centered I guess call it a magazine but it's like a small magazine there was a person I remember when I was like really young that had shot a hundred deer and they kept track of it and I was like oh that's cool I'm gonna keep track of mine too but the other thing I talked about it on camera after I shot my 30th deer earlier this year um, and I don't know if I'll use it in the video or not but one cool thing is to like you think about it all the money you spend on camo and maybe even money you sacrifice for days off. Money you spend on guns and ammo and, you know, 
time that you spend practicing hanging sands, all these things, right? All this like investment that goes into hunting. If you do keep track of how many deer you end up shooting, you can make a pretty decent guesstimate of like, all right, well, how much meat has that earned me? How much would that be worth? You know, is it a, is it a investment that kind of makes sense or whatever? So if you were to figure, whatever, I've shot 32 deer, I think I said, is that right? Yeah. Whatever the math works out, say if it was like 40 pounds of meat per deer, what is that, like 1,200 pounds of venison? I don't know what that would overall cost, because you got to figure too, like it's not the same price for everything. You've got a certain amount that's hamburger, a certain amount that's maybe steaks, roast, and all that good stuff, but I like to think about it in that sense too. Because it isn't just like a let's go have fun thing. There's an aspect to putting food on the table. Uh, Caden, thank you for the super chat as well. Appreciate it. Do you still play Way the Hunter? I'm going to get back into Way the Hunter, but I think that's still... Like, really getting back into it? I think it's still a couple weeks away. Um, in... What? Couple weeks? I gotta go to Indianapolis for the ATA show. Uh, TK and I are going uh, Meat Hunter related things. And then... What, like a week oh. after that, Aaron's coming here to visit? And we'll have to, you know, worry about all those fun things. After that, I think I'm finally, like, done with what you may call the busy season. And I should be able to put the time in. Because that's the reason I haven't been playing Way the Hunter. It's not that I don't enjoy it still. It's specifically because... I don't have any ammo, my god. It's specifically because... In order to make, like, decent content on it, you have to play some off-camera too. And I just haven't had the time to do that. Favorite game meat that you've consumed? Man, elk was really good. Probably elk. We went to a jerky place in Breckenridge, and there was... We got kangaroo, and not that good. Wouldn't recommend. Uh, did we get the gator one? Did we bring home the elk summer sausage thing? Okay, good. Anyway, answer is elk, but have tried more things as of late. Why did you stop with the great one, Black Bear Grind? Um, really it just came down to like, New England was coming out, I was hoping that maybe, don't say it sucks, you got one in 400 kills. <laughs> that just occurred to me. No kidding. Um, I was hoping that maybe New England would be a better map for grinding than SRP, but I don't think it is. As for like why I'm doing the moose grind over the black bear grind, it's just because I feel like it's more like achievable right now. I feel like I could get it done quicker. And frankly, I kind of like the look of the moose better. No worries, Mason. The ride home's about to be fire. Hopefully we can just get a great one and you can hear me freak out for a while. Uh, thoughts on the high-tech hunting pack? If you do much night hunting, it's worth it just for the binoculars. I don't much care for the scope. Oh my god, hello. A piebald. Schmoll guy. So, what is this now? One diamond and, like, five piebalds. Anyway. Caden, thank you for the super chat again. I appreciate the support. What question was I answering? I forget. Hello there. Is Way the Hunter better than Call of the Wild? Depends on who you ask. I think to best answer that question, Way the Hunter is a more realistic hunting game, but it's much slower paced. If you were to play Way the Hunter and Call of the Wild for an hour, and let's say you're playing in what might be a normal way to play. Uh, in Way the Hunter, you may not shoot every animal you see because, you know, you want some to age and stuff. In Call of the, Call of the Wild, for the most part, you're going to shoot whatever you have an opportunity at. I'd say you're going to kill five times more things in Call of the Wild than an hour. So if you're looking for faster play, faster paced uh, hunting gameplay stuff, Call of the Wild is going to be the way to go. What perk makes you reload faster? That's lightning hands in the handgun perks. Ah, good timing. Let me try to smoke you. Just like that. Get your friend there too. Maybe possibly. Did he get out of the way in time? I think a single one. 
I want some moose pie now? Is that like a meat pie? Classic won't launch on Steam. Um, so there used to be issues with that. First thing I would do is verify your game files. You can do that by going into your library. I think you right click the game and then go to properties. Somewhere there's verify game files. You can look up how to verify your files. It's very simple. Um, I would do that. And then again, kind of like I said earlier, I would just contact support. They're the ones that kind of deal with that sort of stuff. I like how the pie balls are very fluffy. Physics. What weapons to use for this grind? Uh, 300 is my moose weapon. I do use the 308 AR for some things as well. Not too bad. So I think it's... We had a level 2. Level 3. Another 3. And a 4. So 4 pie balls? I might have counted wrong. Not that bad. I don't even know the total number. We're closing in on 500 kills. I kind of forget where we left out. It might be about 500. Four rares and a diamond. <laughs> Physics. All the moves in the game seem to do that. Ooh, okay, that was late. Got that one. Kind of wish. We're going to go to 308, I think. Don't know that that helped a single thing, but oh well. Have you gotten a massive, a massive, yes, aggressive moose? Yeah, I've had a couple. Decent bull on New England that I had in a video. Could you make a video hunting all the class nines with the 470? Maybe. Coming up here shortly, uh, February, March, April, before it gets nice outside, is like the best time for, you know, maybe different sorts of videos, more creative type things like that, so it could happen. Should I buy the Model 11 pack? I am not sure I know what you mean. What's the hot spot on Leighton Lake? Depends on what you're after. Balmont in general is very good now. Lots of whitetail, quite a few moose. Um, there's elk in Balmont now. There's, I think, more black bears than there used to be. I don't see rabbits around there as much anymore. That may be a little less. How many class nines are there? So there'll be Cape Buffalo, Water Buffalo, both bison, Euro and, uh, I think they just call them bison, but American bison to call them that. Lions. It's kind of getting close to it. How many white tail did it take you to get a great one? It's about 1600, maybe 1650. Did somebody ask for an aggressive moose? Because I heard one. There you go. Do you know how many moose you've killed on this grind? Only about 500. I've not gotten to do it too much yet. Hello? <laughs> That's kind of rude, ma'am. Uh, Caden, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate the support, man. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Erica. Hope you're having a good one. I need health. How do you know how many you've killed? Is it in history? Unfortunately, no. That, that drives me nuts that we don't have some sort of animal specific or species specific stats uh you just count there's a number of different ways to do it you can be like high look counts with uh what do they call them tally marks on a notebook um that's gonna be the most accurate way to do it for sure typically what i do it's almost a kind of like an estimation in a way so there's a couple of different ways that i'll do it depending on the grind with uh, the black bear grind, typically I was counting per run, so I knew that I would get 
at first when I was doing like hour long runs, I could get about 30 bears in a run. So basically I would just, at the end of the run, add 30 bears to my total. Eventually it got to a point that I was killing 20 and then like 15 because I was doing shorter runs. So that was how I counted there. With, um, say the, well, let's, let's go with the moose grind. The numbers are a lot less consistent. So I'll either pay close attention to my total harvest, which you can see here, or pay attention to my ammo count. Now, you can pretty fairly assume you're not going to kill a moose with every shot you take. Some are going to be misses, some are going to take multiple shots. You got to kind of factor that into. So normally, let's say, let's say I was going to go with just ammo count. And let's say I play for a couple hours and I'm on exactly 600 harvest. I've got 80 rounds right now. If I got down to 600, or sorry, 600 rounds, not 600 harvest. If I got to 600, I'd be like, eh, I'd probably kill 65 moose. Usually I take out off about 15. Is Yukon a good place to hunt for the Great One Moose? Western Yukon is. Uh, the river on the east side is huge and is really difficult to cover all that ground efficiently. So you have to factor that in, but if you wanted to grind on Yukon, I think it could work. How many kills for a Red Deer Great One? Mine took 5,400, or was it 54 or 5,600? One of the two. New spook distance, right about 300 meters. Is it 280? Have you tested that? I thought Jackson said more than 280. Look at this guy. Flying around. I play on Yukon, I only find glitched animals. Is it wolves? Because I have seen glitched wolves a fair bit. How many kills for a Mule Deer Great One? 12? Lady Legend said the new spook distance is like 270. I've not tested it, but I thought it was more than that. We'll attempt to test it if we can here. Try to find like a cow moose or something. Uh, do you think Tauro is a good map? I want to buy it because I really like Quadra Kalinas and it looks similar to me. I wouldn't say it's that similar to Quattro, but the species are really good. A lot of people like the red deer and fallow deer being there. The feral goats are cool, but they're trolls so often they, they tend to become like a species that people resent, I guess. Where's the dog? What a weirdo. I know. I don't know why she's up in there. A Christmas present. I see you over there. Peeking at me. Ooh, I never got that moose photo. Seen around 280 for you personally? Hello there. <sighs> hey. Try to get him in a attacking stance. Uh, da, da, da. Is the Savannah map good? It's very good. One of my favorites. Looks like it's attacking the dog. Come on, do your thing. Whenever you're ready. We're all waiting. Just for you. <laughs> Took too long. Just shot a 270.3 Diamond white tail, maybe? I'm trying to think of what that would make sense for, because I don't understand the rest. Uh, best grain arrows for moose. Uh, assuming that you're using a compound bow, you go with the 600s for sure. Uh, if you're using the traditional bows, you could go 700. Just got absolutely launched off an ATV on Medved. There's a spot over Hunga. I'm going to have to go back and see if it still works. I have a video on it. I couldn't even tell you what it was like. I don't know what I called it. Fun time. So, some silly title of some sort. But there was like a cliff that just made like a 90 degree drop. And if you just took the ATV and like kind of dropped the front wheels off and then kind of held reverse, you would launch like a kilometer. It was great. It's by the um, 
if you've done the Brahunga missions, is by the bridge towards the very end of the missions where you actually fall through. If you if you know where that is. Up on the plateau thing. What app slash software do you use to edit your videos? I use Sony Vegas. Um I have a thing now, it's called like Vegas. What is that called? Vegas 365, I think? So instead of paying for say Vegas Pro 19, it's like a membership thing. So I believe the way it works is that whenever Vegas Pro 20 comes out with this membership thing, I'll be able to upgrade the that. I will say I have a lot of issues with the crashing though, which drives me nuts. Would you like a Texas game ranch? Yes, but I think that is maybe not the last map to call the watch release, but towards the end, like I feel like say in two more years, three more years, let, let's say they're planning another game, another hunting game, and if it's a year away from launch or something, and they're like, okay, we still want to keep people playing Call of the Wild, what's the way to do it? Texas Game Ranch. What are we missing from maps? You could, I mean, you could pick literally almost anything anywhere. You could choose species that you'd like to see on for hunger that aren't there. And you could slap those on a Texas Game Ranch. You could put, you know, species we already have. You could throw some whitetail in there. Gemsbuck would fit. They're, they could do literally almost anything they want but the reason i think they should wait till the end is we may still get maps with some of those species you know let's take uh did greater kudu make a lot of sense on a texas game range i think you could hunt them in texas i'm gonna go with yes um we can still get another africa map that has those but if we don't and they're almost you know ready to introduce a new game that's the way that i would do it if i were them Do you have a pet? Yes, we have a little fluff ball named Shadow. She's actually a little over a year old now, but still tiny. Um, she's all over my Instagram, and if you're in my Discord, I just posted a picture of her in the truck this morning. Or this afternoon. We need a modern recurve bow. What is, like, like uh, carbon limbs, or what do you mean by modern? Yeah, that was a little unfortunate, Danny. How to fix an all-female Roosevelt elk herd? Uh, I would say you don't. There are... Regular spawns, I'll call them, of all-female elk herds. It's just a thing that happens. I'd ignore them. New England or Yukon for the moose grind? If I were you, I would probably go Yukon, but I think the rivers on New England are doable. There's just so much space to cover. I wanted to do it there, I really did, but I just couldn't justify it, like... I like to try to be efficient, right? And I just can't imagine it would be that efficient. Next Lodge Tour? Uh, like in two days. I think that's gonna be the next actual video, so... Today is obviously a stream here on YouTube, tomorrow's gonna be a stream on Twitch, and then... Saturday, I guess that will be. We'll have a Lodge Tour, Sunday should be... It's going to be two videos, I think. It's going to be the December montage and then all the montages slapped together. I got to see if I have those because I switched PCs. They might still be at my parents on the other PC. But anyway, um, it'll have, you know, best of 2022 and best of December. What would you think of rattlesnakes as like a huntable species? I think it could be kind of neat. Maybe as like something... Potentially, you gotta watch out for. Feels red deadish to me. Best gun in the game? It, it sort of depends on what you're using it for, but most versatile is probably like the seven mil. All right, so let's test this. Um, I think that marker's pretty close, even though that says two thirty. If we look at this, let's even can I get a little more accurate? Okay, so we're at three hundred and two meters, and we're just gonna shoot up in the air. Didn't hear that. 290. And we'll stay just over for the sake of... Heard it but didn't spook. Okay, so now I gotta let her settle down. Snakes like in Far Cry Primal would be cool, could cause damage and stuff. I wish I knew more about that game because it seems cool. 
What GPU? I have a 3060. Science experiment. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're out here learning. I'm going to try to recenter that as best I can. If it'll let me. It's not where I'm trying to put it, but okay. So let's go to 81. I'm going to be off by a bit now because the marker won't go where I want. What if I do? But that's not where it is. Like, it's farther than that. Well, I'll rely on this then. Okay, so we'll do 281. That spooks. So it must be between 280 and 290. Hey, thank you, Jonathan. Good after to you as well. Steam is saying I have limited account? I actually don't know the answer to that. Is there, like, parental controls on Steam? I'm not aware of that. W day when you're streaming? Becomes a necessity when you get home at 3 a.m. We were supposed to be home, like, 7 p.m. the 27th. So I had the video for yesterday already done. And it was going to be like a, you know, could have relaxed and stuff. Got going, you know, back into the swing of things with the video the next day. And Southwest was like, hey, do you want to see something cool? Shadow's destroying your chair legs. She's actually eating her food right now. She was hungry. She was scratched on her hole, so I was like, what? Hungry? You want to go back to the Christmas tree? I think she's happy to be home. Shadow be munching. She was just getting it over there. couple of decent ones. We could probably make this work. If we... I don't believe that distance. Yeah, it's 313. So if we leave him over there and shoot these two first, I don't think the four spooks. So let's go... That guy. That guy. Yeah, he knows nothing happened. And that'll be three. Go... Doke... To Rancho? I'm trying to figure out what that autocorrect or whatever was. Mine's the delay. How was the flights? Yeah, the way back was a little bumpy. The way there, I mean, I was so tired. I, what even happened? I guess I was working on videos and stuff. And then we had to take Shadow to my parents and we hung around there for like three, four hours to let her get it, get like settled in and stuff. And then we came back. I think I still had some of Kyla's thumbnails to do. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it was like 10, almost 11 till we got to bed and then 1 a.m. we had to be up to get to the airport in time. So I slept the entire like four hour flight to Colorado. It was great. Um, coming back, I wasn't as tired and the flights were bumpier and stuff, so I didn't do much sleeping. But they weren't bad. Uh, what are must have DLCs? I'll leave maps out of it because you can play any map that you don't own the DLC for in multiplayer. I would say... Modern Weapon Pack is up there. Weapon Pack 1, because it's got the 22 Virant. And honestly, maybe the high-tech pack if you hunt at night. The rest is more like a matter of personal preference at that point. You drive to Colorado? Frankly, it would have been quicker had we done that. Not by much. We were, it was 30 something hours late that we got home because we ended up booking a separate flight since uh, Southwest canceled and there were, it was gonna be many days until we could actually get a flight back home. So we switched to Delta. Don't know if that'll get comped or not. I kind of doubt it, but here we are. But anyway, it's almost like a 30-ish hour drive. But I think we would have gotten home sooner. Why does the custom skin thing for guns not work on Xbox? I'll press the button and it won't do anything. I can't say I've heard of that happening, but... Do you definitely own the DLC for the color you're trying to use? 
I don't know how it shows if you don't. Does Kyle have a channel? Yes. Self promo? Whoa. Do you do wildlife photography? Typically only after they're dead. Uh, no, uh, not really. I like to try to take photos of stuff. I guess I'm more so, like I've, since I film my real life hunts, that's more wildlife videography, maybe. I need to get that um, moose picture you have. No, but at least you can see how big it was and stuff. Send it to myself. Just got a PC, what game should I get? Uh, I don't know. What kind of games do you like to play? I thought that was another piebald, but... That's just a tan or something. What do you think the next great one will be? I just have a funny feeling about Fox because they did that model rework. It just... I think they were fine. I, I do think... Like, they're better. They're definitely improved. But I don't know that it was necessary. Like, I look at... Roosevelt Elk, for instance. Or... Even Mule Deer. Like... To me, those models... Are worse than the old Red Fox models. But yet, Red Fox are the ones that got the rework. So, like, why did they do that? Well, they've done reworks on things they've done great ones for... Not long after, so maybe... I gotta save this. Should have really prepped this beforehand, but didn't do it. Noose. He was on the loose, going across the road like that. Is Reventuli better than New England for Whitetail? I would say yes. Then again, I haven't. Like, I didn't do any kind of grinds for Whitetail on either map. All right, let's see if I can do this real quick. Uh, we're gonna do a image source. And we're gonna do ba -ba -ba -ba. moose. All right, that's a little big because it's probably like 4,000 by something. There you go. That was the moose we saw across the road in, well, just outside of Breckenridge. Um, we saw it on the road but it was like a... I don't know if we came around a turn. I really... I don't know what happened. Because it felt like we should have seen it far earlier than we did. Maybe it was some kind of Christmas magic thing. But... Yeah, because you guys were on the side of the road that it was on. Yeah, he... He, he very quickly was across the road and on his way. But it was a good size bull. I thought at first... Because, like, the sun was maybe shining off the snow or reflecting off the snow. You could see, like, like a reddish color in his ears. And I thought that there was some kind of, like, tags in his ears. But I'm pretty sure it was just the sun kind of sh shining through it. It's a level three, just about, right? It was pretty cool, bottom boy. I'm typically pretty good about, like, not cursing in front of especially parents and stuff like that. But I do believe my reaction was, uh... A holy bleep on that one. Uh, which again, like I said earlier, you know that moose are huge, but when you actually see one for the first time, it's like, whoa, that's a large animal. What would the Great One Fox grind weapon be? Mm -mm. I'd go pellet gun all the way, because it's going to be quieter. 243 and pellet gun, probably. What's that? The 45 something. Vasquez? I want to say. But you gotta. Well, true. But. Especially when. There is like a predator species where there's not as many. Any lake where you can. Save on spook radius, I think. That would make a big difference. Two bowls. Please and thanks. It would be horrendous. Considering I did just a diamond grind and it took me months and 700 kills, I can't say I want to do a fox great one grind, but it would... I imagine there would be a lot less manipulation to stuff with them, which is good.
I've seen some... I don't even know what that is. Percheron horses up close and personal? These like the Budweiser ones. Uh, and they are that type of big. Just hard to wrap your head around. I know those moves gotta be bigger. Uh, what are the... Clydesdales, right? That's what I'm thinking of. Aren't they over 2,000 pounds? But they're thicker. Like, moose just have... Like, moose's legs and stuff aren't as thick, I think, as Clydesdales. Clydesdale is the Budweiser, so I don't know what the kind of bottom boys matching. Are they bigger? Uh, possibly, possibility for a The Hunter Classic stream soon this Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Hello from Slovakia. I'm going to read that because I cannot pronounce your name. I apologize, but hello back at you from the States. I want a South Dakota map with a great one elk. Wasn't that... Didn't Didi hunt in one of the Dakotas recently? With his mule deer hunt? I think that'd be a place I'd enjoy. Percherons, however you say it, it's even bigger than Clydesdale's goodness. Would love a Newfoundland map? Would there be any new species on that? Maybe muskox if you get like the northern part of it? I deleted this zone and it still hasn't come back. Okay, let's go to that little Skull Lake, whoever that is. It's not there. There it is. I live in South Dakota. There would be a variety of different animals. For that for that area as well, what would be like new species-wise? Not quite as big nut, but very thick set, huh? Layton 2.0 will be Michigan. What does Michigan have? Like, I know Whitetail. Probably Bobcats. Bears, I imagine. Yeah, I think we're due for a full year of no NA maps at you. Where are my mice? Maybe none of respawned here. In that case, we'll just keep going. An Australian map with kangaroos and camels? I was going to say I don't know if I could shoot a camel. I mean, in real life, I don't think I would. In a game, I probably would have said I wouldn't have shot a kangaroo either, and they're actually quite fun to shoot in classics, so I'd probably be good with it. What do you think about the elk back in Missouri? I don't think I had heard about that. Have they, is it like a uh, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation doing that stuff? How many diamond moose do I have on this grind? Still one. We did get a pie ball today. So that's um, four pie balls and one diamond on this grind at about 500 kills. We need a more big game focus map. I think all the early maps were all big game focused, though Hirschfelden is nothing but big game. I mean, not anymore. Like, it's got rabbits and geese added to it, but it was mostly big game. And then Leighton, of course. Medved kind of started to introduce some smaller stuff. And to be fair, we had Bacchus before, too, but... Um... I don't know. I think a balance is good. I think that appeals to more people, which is what EW wants. Oh, that was a touch touch forward, I think. Now we got it. That guy's dying. One's gonna get away. I lost track of one bull. Three is not that bad. Uh, KM, thank you for the super chat. Your videos are awesome and helpful. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. How you doing today? I'm doing good. Well rested after a very long travel day yesterday. Glad to be back streaming too. It's always... I do find that, like, streaming comes a little more natural. I think that's to be expected, too, because you just kind of, you know, interact with chat, read messages, answer questions, all that stuff. For me, like, when I take a, a week off, going back to making videos sometimes takes me some time to, like, there's a pacing and stuff that I need to get used to. So, coming back straight to a stream definitely isn't a bad deal. As long as Dak puts up 50 fantasy points, bottom boy, I'll be alright.
Best money making strat in 2022, I would say Fallow Deer or Red Deer on Te Aoroa, or both if you can manage it. When are you going to play the Angler again? We do have to go back one more time to catch those last couple of lash? Last couple of fish species, so maybe this coming week. There is a lot going on though. Uh, Saturday is going to be the Lodge Tour, Sunday is going to be Montage stuff. Monday, of course, is a stream. I gotta get back to, wait, the Hunter soon. Classic is coming back. With the streams and stuff. Hopefully this coming week, but we'll see. Just got a new 50-inch TV to play called Wild on. You're gonna see every hair on the deers. Put a couple bets on Dak doing good so that if he does go off, it takes the sting out there. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I should do that. I'm pretty sure... What did I do that? It was the Vikings. I was... They were... The Lions were favored in that game. And I was like, nah, the Vikings got this. So I put like five bucks. It was the last bit in that account on the Vikings. And they lost and I haven't put any more money in it. When are you going to stream Wade Hunter again? Probably not this coming Monday, but maybe the Monday after. Should have one more still, right? The bad thing is with tripods, you can't really count hunting pressure as easily. Did you get a buck this year in real life? I actually got two. Um, the one in West Virginia, it's my biggest bow buck. Second biggest buck ever. I'm pretty sure I'm going to... He's going to be the highest or second highest scoring one that I've shot. I don't know for sure if it would like grows higher than my other bow buck but or than my other uh, nine point rather but like the net score will be higher because it's more even then the one i shot here in pa actually ended up being a relatively small eight i kind of misidentified it i thought it was a different eight but either way i was going to shoot a two-year-old what essentially happened was it was the last day that morning i killed it though and then I just went and hunted in a spot that was just kind of like a gut feeling kind of thing. And 45 minutes before dark, this young buck gets pushed up to me by another hunter. I heard shots down below me and stuff. And like I said, I thought it was a different deer that was like 15, 20 inches bigger. I mean, I shot him like seven yards away. It was like a... It's hard to describe, but it was this feeling of like opportunity wise like I don't know I had such a difficult year in PA didn't kill a deer until November 27th the second day of rifle and then I went like two more weeks killed one on a Thursday then I got one that morning and had the opportunity of that buck too it was just like everything sort of sort of happened at once I joined and heard he's shooting a two-year-old every time I say that I feel like I should clarify but then I feel like if I clarify, maybe it's going to make it sound like I'm trying to cover up something. That sounds like bad news, frankly, for me, bottom boy. But either way, I was going to shoot a two-year-old. Hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, <laughs> where should we go? Do you fish it all in real life? Yeah, um, since moving here, we have a creek in the front yard. So, I've definitely done a good bit more fishing. I get not since two months ago, or three months ago, September, but the September before. I've done a good bit more fishing. Got into fly fishing, I really enjoy that. I'm playing in this year, because I feel like even this spring with Shadow, we only had had her for a couple months, and I wasn't sure how she would do with like camping and stuff but now she's met a lot more people made other dogs i'm very comfortable and confident that she'd be perfectly fine should we run into other people camping so i think we're going to try to do more camping this spring and into the summer and that should involve a good bit more fishing too do you go bass fishing i haven't since when was the last time i did with bottom boy <laughs> oh that is such it was such a good time so again i killed my buck in west virginia with bottom boy uh second day that we were down there and then the last day we were down there 
I don't remember who hunted the morning. I may have. But then Kyla was going to hunt the evening. And Bottom Boy had been wanting to, like, show me some of the stuff around the farm and stuff. So we went up there, got to see all that. And then we did a little bass fishing. And I don't even remember. I was using, like, a Sanko worm. Would that, would that have been what it was? I don't know if it's the brain, but it was definitely one of those, like, maybe four or six inch soft plastic worms. Regardless, I kept on feeling like I was getting a hit. And I couldn't set the hook, and I finally got it, and it was like a little over four pounds, four pounds, two ounce, thick bass. Only fish I caught the entire day. I still can't believe your luck. I told you, dude, I used it all up. <laughs> That was, I wish I got to get, we'll have to maybe next year or something when we're down or if we get together before that, I, I need to like do a recreation of you telling the story because I love it. I can't like, I can't make it make sense without somehow showing it, but my reaction was like, Hey, I think I got a good one or something. And then bottom boy says he looks over and I'm like, basically like squatting down, leaning way back over to keep tension best. <laughs> the way that he uh, imitates it is so good. Do you live in Kentucky? I do not. I've been through Kentucky. It's about as much as I've done. Gary Yamamoto? Hey, you know, similar. Similar vibes there. Okay, let's see. Where should we go? Did the river, did this. Did that. I don't want to do the ice again. Let's just go around this half. I haven't done that yet. Have you been to Ohio? Yeah, when I was younger, we went to Canton and went to the Hall of Fame and all that. Um, been through it quite a number of times, but rarely have I stopped there since then. How far into the moose grind? About 500 kills. Just kind of getting going. Finally have some real time to put into it over the next couple of weeks, so that should hopefully help anyway. I think that's fixed uh, the great one bear spawning on latent missions, but that was an exploit anyway, so not a fan of that. Steelies on a fly rod are amazingly fun. Maybe one day I'll be that good. I caught my one decent sized rainbow trout on a uh, salmon egg nymph and that was a blast but my next big thing I want to do is a topwater uh, trout I definitely could have done it there was one day I was literally mowing well I was mowing the grass but I was weeding at this point when I weed eat the creek banks the easiest way to do it is just stand in the creek and weed eat upwards instead of like standing down over and there was this Kyla thought it was a snake. She saw it from the deck or something. It was just like darting around and she got my attention. I like took my earbuds out because I was probably listening to a podcast or something. And anyway, it just turned out to be like a big rainbow that was, I guess, starving. I don't know. It just didn't care that I was there and it was like hitting everything that would fall into the water, like grass that it would fly, fly away from weed eating and stuff. And uh, I thought about it. I was like, I could go catch this guy right now on a dry fly, 100%. And then I was like, nah, that seems, poor dude seems like he's struggling. I won't do it. Any specific trout? Is in like ones that I'd be after? I mean, rainbows seem to be what we get in this creek. They're definitely stocked because they're not native to PA. Um, but it's funny, they don't stock our stretch. And I've been told they don't stock upstream. And if trout migrate, they migrate downstream. So I don't know where they're coming from, but they're in there. Kid have killed the poor boy. That's what I thought, you know. I'd much rather that trout live and potentially work to have more trout in that stretch than be able to say, hey, I caught the most starving rainbow trout in history. History? History? On a dry flat? There was not a P in any of the words I tried to say. I don't know. Thoughts on the herd management. I just don't like it. I don't really mind if people do it. I I don't mind if people do it for one. I really don't like 
thousands of diamonds and stuff from herd management. I just think that devalues stuff to a point that what is the point after that? But, you know. I've made the argument before. Like, it's... There's no ands, buts, or ors about it. Like, it is just an exploit of the spawning system. That said, it's not like there aren't exploits that are prevalent in the community. I mean, you could say, like, the 22 strat, where you shoot at the feet of a moose to alert it, is an exploit. You could. Uh, back in the day, Zag Tactic, that was definitely an exploit. And it, they were widely accepted by the community. It is what it is. But... For me, I think herd management is, it, it gives players an advantage beyond what those others did. I know a couple people who pay to stock their own ponds and it's surprisingly reasonable, like $120 for 200 pounds of fish, really? I don't know with a creek if it's as reasonable, but can you do that? Because I know they used to stock this. The reason they quit is because the previous owners would have people fishing in their yard and they would leave, you know, all their... Uh, like the packaging for lures and hooks and worms and all that stuff in their yards. So they just said, nah, quit stocking it because we don't want that. And frankly, I don't want people fishing in my yard, so I'm perfectly happy to leave it as is. But I wonder if that becomes an issue. What is your biggest deer and have you ever hunted blacktail? Assuming you're talking about real life, I have not hunted blacktail. My biggest deer is the one that I got last year, 180 inch, 14 point that I'll most likely never top. Second whitetail grind. Honestly, the only way that's ever going to happen is if I get really caught up on things. So like, you know, there's still diamonds on Revan I don't have. I still want a diamond bobcat off of New England. Still want a great one moose, still want a great one black bear. If all those things were to happen, say by like, I don't know, April, and there's still some time before the next map comes out, then I'd probably go back and do another whitetail grind. What gun am I using for the moose 300? Oh, there you go, CJ. Hope you get him. Depending on where you are at in PA, you probably aren't far from some wild trout streams. I know of a couple that are fairly close to here, but I don't know. It would probably be okay. Like, let's say, because wild... Okay, wait. When you say wild trout, are you talking about, like, native brook trout, or are you talking about brown trout or rainbow trout that were stocked, or, say, their ancestors, I guess, were stocked, but then were born in that stream? Because what I was going to say, like, because a lot of natives, they don't get that big. Is it, like, a problem to put, say, like, a 8-inch native trout in a stream or a creek or whatever with 20-inch stocked rainbows? As far as I know, like, most stock trout are not that aggressive, comparatively. How do you have a diamond head? Rock solid. Um... <laughs> Have you hunted grouse in real life? I have not. I've, on a couple occasions, I've had grouse, like, I was archery hunting one time in a stand, and I had a grouse fly up, like, 10 yards away, and I considered shooting it with my bow, but I didn't do it. That's about as close as I've been to grouse hunting. He meant wild trout, as in they were very shocked and impressed that you could catch him. <laughs> Probably any trout's shocked and impressed that I can catch it when it sees me. Wow. I can't believe you have any abilities whatsoever. Are the dogs worth having in game? There are times when it's good to have them, but I would say like 98% of the times, like if I don't drop an animal and I do have to actually track it down with the blood, I can do it on my own. But sometimes there's glitches, like, where the tracks don't appear and stuff. And fortunately, that doesn't affect the dogs. The dogs can still find invisible blood track animals. So it's those moments when it's worth it. What I miss? Uh, we shot a piebald level to remove fairly early on in the stream. What maps do you want in the angler? Oh, boy. 
Uh, I don't do any saltwater fishing in real life, but actually for that reason, I want a saltwater map. That's one of the cool things about, you know, games like this. On one hand, it's cool to have the things you do in real life in games, but on the other hand, things you can't readily do being in games is cool. So for me, some sort of saltwater fishing would be neat. Uh, but then maybe Alaska or Montana, like little mountain streams and stuff. I don't know where Golden Ridge Reserve is. It's probably an area like that, but I don't know. They could have done a lot more with the species. Flinter's stream map is just your house and the ambient noise of shadow barking and you mowing. Maybe me yelling every now and then. I don't know. So far, I'm not really thinking we're going to shoot any of these. Numbers look okay, but it's mostly cows that I'd kind of prefer to keep it that way. Lost a diamond wildebeest in Cape Buffalo? It happens. What do you think about sparring animations, or is that asking too much? I think it could be done. I don't know if you're familiar with Deer Hunter 2005, but they did it in that game. And... The problem is you're going to get clipping, right? And if, if you don't care about that, like as a game dev or whatever, if you're just going to accept that antlers are going to clip through each other, then I'd say go for it. The problem, I think, is you will get people who are like, look how unrealistic this is. The, the tines don't even have hitboxes. They just pass through each other. But because of true racks and stuff, it's not really feasible to do anything that doesn't involve clipping. What is that? That's a big four. 258 to 312. I, I don't know. We probably have to shoot that. Look at the size of him compared to that three. That's kind of cool to see them side by side. Uh, what's up, Horn? How's it going? <laughs> hey, again, I think they should add another dog. Maybe a retriever to complete the waterfowl rework. Yeah, I don't know if you caught my um, Call the Wild wishlist video, but... I had mentioned that as well. I think a retriever would be really cool. And, and again, I'm surprised we didn't get it. I thought Revan Tuli came out um, in June, right? I was certain the September update was going to be like a retriever or something, and it wasn't. What's up, Billiam? Just my property? One big male and a bunch of three year olds? Cool. How don't the moose get spooked? Uh, like what, when I'm running? The spook radius when running is about 150 meters. If the wind is also blowing towards them, it's more like 180. Hey, it's, it's not hard to do, Nick. If it wasn't for that green wing teal landing in a terrible spot, I'd have done the same exact thing. True size, would it not just... The amount of realism that any sort of variation like that adds. It's amazing they don't have it yet, to be honest. Did you shoot one, Billy? Have you ever seen two rare fur types in the same herd of any animal before? I can think of one occasion for sure. This will pull back the curtain a little bit of like the reality of making videos, though. I was doing a Yukon hunt in multiplayer. And I had already killed, like, a diamond or, or a rare, maybe two diamonds or something like that. And I joined a multiplayer session, and there were two albino female uh, bison side by side in the same herd. And I was like, okay. And I just left them because it was like, it, it would have been, I think there just would have been too many rares or something in one video. And there's always, regardless of what happens, I mean, lately... I'd say, oh, like, of all the creators out there, I'm probably killing the least amount of diamonds and stuff over the last couple of weeks or months. Like, I don't do herd management. I don't do none of that stuff. And I haven't, because of hunting season, I've hardly gotten to play the game. And I still get comments like, oh, you're hacking because you kill a diamond in most videos. So, you know, you, you put two diamonds and two rares in the same video, you get more of those comments. So in an attempt to avoid such things, I just didn't even shoot those two. 261, okay. Could have left him go. 
I broke my collarbone and might be able to shoot archery from my skull again in February. How long does it take a collarbone to heal? Because I feel like there would be some stress there in shooting archery. No diamonds get good, I know. And bad. What do you think about a wild boar great one a model rework? Yeah, the the model rework is certainly needed. I like that idea. Ever since the white oak great one, I I've seen quite a lot of people suggesting like a uh, hogzilla great one concept. I think that's a good idea. In your opinion, should the devs correct herd management? It's a tough one. It's a t like. It's tough, not because I think maybe it has a place in the game. For me, like, in my mind, the game would be better off without it. But, it spawned a huge genre, niche, of a way of playing the game. Like, a lot of people love herd management, and that's just what they do. And you would get a lot of negative reactions to removing or fixing or, or correcting herd management. So, do I think the devs should do something about it? Maybe they could continue to look at ways of nerfing it. In my opinion, making the spook radius further or increasing the spook radius, things like that are probably an attempt to nerf it a little bit. I don't, I, I just think it's I think it's too far down the line to completely remove it. I just, uh, yeah, damage is done. Like, I don't think, from my perspective, and from a lot of people who don't like its perspective, is not too far gone, but the devs have to, any, any game developer has to consider, like, the reaction to things they do and, like, what percentage of the community does it, and I'm sure they have all those stats, but... I would imagine they would consider that. I think they'd get more loud negative reactions for removing it than the current negative reactions they get to it being there. Chads don't rely on herd management. It's just, you know, it's the way that you approach the game, right? Like, if you look at it as, or let's say Great One Grinds in particular, if you look at them as like a challenge and something to work towards and stuff, I don't imagine herd management makes a lot of sense, but if, if you just want a Great One, then like, yeah, it's probably the thing to do. Even though I'm still not so sure herd management does anything for Great Ones, it certainly does stuff for diamonds and all that. What's up, Tyler? Put you in a tough spot? Nah, I, uh... I talk about it quite a bit, and when it was new, I mean, frankly, when it was new it was like 2018. One of my moderators, around the time Verhunga came out, was experimenting with stuff like that, and he told me it, he was having success, and I, I tried it with Whitetail and stuff. Like, I don't run from the fact that I attempted herd management in the past, but... It's different. Well, the concept was exactly the same, but... I don't... Stacking is anti-herd management, though. I don't understand it. It's the exact opposite of what you're trying to do. But, uh... He wasn't having hundreds of diamonds or anything like that. Like, he would... Sort of attempt it with Kate Buffalo, and he'd get a diamond Kate Buffalo every now and then. When you can have 20 on your map, I just think it's gone a little far. What is herd management? So, I never say how to do it, because I'm really not in favor of it but it's essentially exploiting the way that the game the game's respawn system works to get more diamonds stacking is just like reversing hers management so you get more small males for the future oh is that I never thought of that okay so it still does that makes sense I never understood it. Now I actually understand why they do it. And frankly, that's... It's kind of worse. I feel like some creators would hate it being gone because it def drives up video views. Yeah, so this is where I struggle with it. And we're probably going to have to end the stream talking about herd management. So it is what it is. 
Um, one of the call it positives of herd management is that people who only have a couple hours a week to play Call of the Wild do see it as a way to maybe get a great one or a super rare, things that they never dreamed possible before because they didn't have the time to play. And that's why I say, like, I really don't care if people do it. I'm not like, you know, if I see insert random community member gets a great one with herd management. If that, like, if they, if that's the end of their grind, I'm like, hey, you know, good for you, glad you could get one. I, what I don't like is thousands of diamonds and stuff. Because that's what really devalues trophies in the game. Because it does, I always see the idea of like, well, if they're herd managing, herd managing? Yes. If they're herd managing, it's not hurting you. Like, yeah, it's not, but people in the community still care about how much a diamond means like you know how much work it takes to get a diamond it still is difficult comparatively to get diamonds when you can get thousands in a matter of a couple weeks that doesn't sound very difficult uh, I'm not sure if I know who that was hunting freak but yeah that's that's my worry with it and again like it's not it's never going to change it for me. Like, just because somebody has thousands of diamond red deer from herd management doesn't mean when I go and see a level 9 red deer, I won't still have that little, like, you know, heart skips a beat feeling of like, oh, there's a there's a 9. C gotta make this shot, you know? But, it's not about me, really. Like, I'm more worried about the communities or the games, I guess, health as a whole, if that makes sense. Might have been a little low on that second shot. Now we're good. Uh, could you start to post more Way the Hunter content? I do think, at least, in the coming weeks, we're going to start to play Way the Hunter a little bit more, so hopefully, yes. If you want to know how to do it, you can go look at... Yeah, there's videos out there for how to do it. And like I said, I don't mind if people do it to like try to get a great one or whatever, but... It's the dozens of great ones thing that I think is potentially harmful. What does zero zeroing do? Um, so it's just basically offsetting for like gravity's effect on your bullet. I, don't, I can never describe this well. So there's bullet drop in the game, right? Let, let's uh, let me see if I can. See if I can make this make sense. Okay, uh, that's 190 meters away. With a 22 by 0 for 50, and I'm going to aim at that peak, it hits low. But if I just 0 for 150, it's hitting basically dead on. That's what the zeroing is. You basically want to 0 for the distance you're trying to shoot. To the lodge, then, with our schmoll pie from the day. It split the community. Yeah, and like... In some ways, like, I feel like I'm contributing to that in being, like, kind of... I hate to say that I'm anti-herd management, because, like I said, I'm not for individuals. I'm anti-herd managing thousands upon thousands of diamonds. But... I don't know. Like... I'm genuinely worried that it could hurt the community as a whole, so... I'm gonna mention it. I guess this is gonna be the spot for our pie over here. Look at that. Four pies. One nice one. One diamond. It do be interesting. I don't know the numbers at all, Mr. Freeze, but... This is, this is another place I struggle with, and we won't get into the whole thing, but... For me, like, if I get one great one of a species, I'm kind of done. Like, that's all I want. Getting... Dozens. I don't know. I feel like if you're... For the average community member, because again, that's really what I'm more so worried about. When someone has dozens of great ones, 
and you can't get one. Like, I just feel like when you finally do get one, it's like, well, there's my one, but most people have 20. I don't know. Dairy cow farm vibes? I mean, considering <laughs> the population of I the population of them I have here definitely does feel that way. Anyway. Scarecrow has 20 great one white. Does he really? I didn't know that. Great one should be more rare. I think that's the idea, right? Like, I think back to the moment that my first Great One Whitetail showed up. And just how, like, special that was. It's not to say my Great One Red Deer wasn't a special feeling, but it wasn't the same. Because there were so many more. And herd management wasn't even a thing by then. I don't know. Anyway. It's... It's an interesting topic for sure, because as in any game in any community, like people try to find out the best ways to get the cool things, and I just, I don't know if exploiting the way the game works is the same as that. Anyway, glad you're back, missed the streams for sure, thank you man, I missed them as well. I always do, like I enjoy getting away from We'll call it work for, you know, a little while, but I do, I do enjoy, you know, the streams and making videos and all that stuff, so I always like to get back to it, and like I said, a stream, especially being away for a week, probably would have been a little rusty with making videos and stuff, good way to get back to it, but on that note, that is going to do it for this stream, I will be streaming at the regular time, 1pm, over on Twitch tomorrow, I think we're probably going to do Call of the Wild again, maybe New England... Could be moose again. I don't know. We shall see. But thanks again, everybody, for watching today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you hopefully in tomorrow's stream over on Twitch. Bye.